museums of art and history, there are Korean collections like the ceramics, but this museum up to tonight hardly had any Korean music instruments. And that's why this donation is very important. And moreover, this museum, these musical instruments will directly go into the permanent exhibitions. So the public will be able, from tomorrow I guess, will be able to admire them. That's why I thank you so much, Mr. Ambassador, Prince of the Republic of Korea. And that's why now it's for me a particular pleasure to hand over the floor to Your Excellency, Ambassador Ahn Boyo. Thank you. But I came to know I came to notice that this mic microphone That's doesn't to wear, so that is the reason why I'm taking this microphone out, so that I could be nearer to the, the microphone. But at the same time, may I invite all of you to come nearer to me, <laughs> so that so that I could I could see you better. Well, I'm Ambassador Korea, and I've been in this country for about three months now. Then I have to tell you, uh, for, the, for the three months, I've been very much impressed with this country. Why? Because I came to find that there are so many similarities between Korea and this beautiful country called Beijing. One of the similarities would be that we are small. You are 11 million people here in Belgium, but we are 47 million people in Korea. Between 11 million and 47 million, you, you may say 47 million is not too small. But at the same time, everything is relevant. In the sense that to our west, we have uh, 1.2 billion people. To our east, we have Japan, almost 200 million people. So between these two giants, then we'll be rather small with 47 million people. But at the same time, 11 million and 47 million, we are small countries. But at the same time, I think that, that is just the beginning. I mean, the similarity between our two countries in the sense that both of our people, I can define, are very tough. Koreans, you may have realized, are very tough people. And I came to find that Belgians, they're very tough as well. And then I said to myself, why? For obvious reason. In the sense that uh, in the midst of giants, we have survived and you have survived. And then that, I think, would explain why we must be tough. But that is, the, that is only the beginning, in the sense that I also came to find that somehow we, Koreans and Belgians, have been very successful in hiding our toughness behind the facade, facade of being gentle. <laughs> so, so the similarities never stop, but at the same time, to say, put it in rather simple words, I came to find that you are, Belgium is, a small giant. That's what I came to find. Then why do I call it a small giant? Because when it comes to size of the land, when it comes to size of population, you are small. But at the same time, historically, philosophically, industrially, and, and even culturally, you are a giant. I mean, Belgium is a giant. And this evening, I spent only 30 minutes this evening at this museum, and the 30 minutes was sufficient in convincing me that in fact, Belgium is a cultural giant. Why? Why do I say that? Because when I entered this museum 30 minutes ago, I met with two Belgian gentlemen. Two Belgian gentlemen. And they introduced themselves as composer of music. Which music? Korean music. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? This is a country with 11 million people. Somehow, I met with two gentlemen, composers of Korean music. I couldn't believe it myself. So my first question was this, which is, well, it's very impressive, but how was it possible in the sense that in Western music, you have seven notes. In Korean music, we have five notes. How was it possible for you to make that transition from, you have background, you have training in Western music, how was it possible for you to make the transition from Western music, your, your training, your background in Western music to Korean music? Seven notes, five notes, it's a big difference. How did you do that? <clears throat> there was my question. I have to tell you, 
rather uninformed question I have to say. Why? Why do I call it uninformed? Because the, the response I really, I really appreciated it. The response was, well, in the natural world, you have innumerable, innumerable, innumerable number of sounds. Doesn't matter if it's seven notes or, or five notes. It was the most impressive uh, response I, 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 uh, I received. And then again, I was very impressed with the fact that there are at least two composers of Korean music in this country, among 11 million people. But at the same time, the response I got from those two gentlemen that was most impressive. With all of this background, it is my uh, honor and pleasure to be presenting 17 musical instruments coming, to, uh, coming from Korea, which is going to be on a uh, permanent display on the second floor, or the first floor of this museum from today on. And then at the same time, in order to make it possible for you to understand at the very least how those instruments are actually used, what kind of sounds those musical, musical instruments, instruments make. It will be our pleasure to provide certain performance of Korean tradition music uh, on the eighth floor of this museum, which is two stories down. So this is what I think about the meaning of today's event. But at the same time, let me conclude with a very simple word, which is thank you so much for, for the, providing this opportunity to have a uh, certain aspect of Korean society introduced to you, to Mr. DeVos, and then to the president of the museum. And at the same time, let me conclude by thanking you all for, for being here this evening. Thank you so much.